All right, guys, welcome to part nine of how to play Blood Bowl start to finish. I can't believe I've done nine of these videos, but here goes. So last video, uh, we bought players, we talked about their starting skills, and um, now we're going to hire additional staff. Or actually, we're going to talk about hiring additional staff. Uh, this will not include rerolls. I'm going to do a whole separate section about uh, buying rerolls for your team. So let's start off with the, there's there's um, we have the players. Okay, now the additional staff are actually uh, player or people that are part of the team, but they're not on the pitch. In fact, you don't need uh, models for them. Okay. Now there's some miniature manufacturers that actually make models. Like I have a ref, or you can use her as a coach for Amazons, or you can kind of make one. I made this out of um, just some spare bit I got from attending a games day, and he is the coach of my goblin underworld team. Uh, the camera I'm using is pretty bad, so <clears throat> this crapped out on me. So we are going lower in <laughs> quality as these videos go on. No, I'll, I'll eventually buy a new camera. I should have bought one anyways. So what are the additional staff? What do they do and how much do they cost? Let's start with your assistant coach, okay? Assistant coaches are 10,000 gold each. And um, basically what they do is they help you in a particular result on the kickoff table. So, as you know, if you've been following the videos, when you kick the ball off, you have to consult the kickoff table. And on one of the results, we have result number eight, brilliant coaching. Okay, that will never be in focus, will it? Yeah. So, basically in a nutshell, uh, both players would roll, you know, D6, or D3 for this. Okay. So, there's the humans, they get a three, and Skaven get a one. Now, if the Skaven had purchased any uh, assistant coaches, they could then add plus one to that result per assistant coach. Now, why is it important to win this roll? The winner of the roll will get a free uh, re-roll, which, trust me, comes in handy. Even if you tie, both players get a free re-roll. So it does... Um, it is a handy, you know, the, the assistant coach is a handy thing to buy. If you have spare gold, I mean, there's obviously um, what most people consider uh, the most important thing to buy are rerolls, obviously. But again, we're going to go into that in a different section. After the assistant coaches, you have cheerleaders, okay. So cheerleaders are 10,000 each, and they perform exactly like assistant coaches except they help you in a different kickoff result which is cheering fans number six now this one comes up pretty often so if you have the spare you know if you you, know, you already bought re-rolls and you bought your team and you have like 10,000 gold lying around or 20,000 you know you could buy a cheerleader or two because what you do in this case is the same thing. This time they, they consider it a D6. Whoops, let me roll that again. I rolled a two, and the Skaven just can't get a break this time. They roll one. Now the Skaven bot cheerleaders, they can add plus one to that dice roll per cheerleader. Okay. Now, the last thing we're gonna touch on <coughs> is the apothecary. So an apothecary is like your sports doc. His job is to keep your team healthy. 
there are in there's one thing well there's a lot of huh let me let me uh, let me back up for a second one of the important things to note about an apothecary is that you can only use them once per game so basically um, you want to pick the right time so let's say we have our catcher and he's about to get blocked by the Skaven lineman and the Skaven lineman scores defender down knocks him down let's say he breaks his armor with a nine okay so right now you're probably sweating bullets he's my catcher you know he's the fastest guy on my team he has catch he has dodge and he's down and if I lose him uh, it's gonna it's going to hinder my ability later on in the game so I need him so let's say the armor's broken and he rolls again for the uh, casualty roll and let's say he rolls an eight which would knock him out okay so he's out of the game right he could come back on a four or better uh, at the end of the drive or you know the start of the next half but you he is out for some time if you burn the apothecary if you use his ability you can put him back on the pitch as stunned okay so that's one uh, practical use of the apothecary let's say it's even worse let's say in that same scenario the scaven player rolls boxcars okay so now he's now he's a casualty okay so no matter what happens death or injury he's gonna be out for the rest of the game well in this case if the Skaven player rolls death, you could use the Apothecary to make him re-roll the, the dice results and pick the lesser of two evils. So in a you know long-term you know campaign, let's say this guy's skilled up, he's worth some money, and you you depend on your catcher, you don't want him like with a broken neck or a broken leg or something like that or even killed then you can use the apothecary to save him if not for the to bring him back for this game but just to keep him healthy uh, for the next game that he's playing so that's that's basically it in a nutshell those are your uh, additional staff there are inducements but I have to cover those in a different section We'll go over inducements. The last thing that we're going to buy are rerolls, and and um, those are considered team rerolls. Now there are different prices for each one, um, but I think in in um, you know in consideration of time, we will dedicate a, another section to rerolls because there's there's some um, there's some exceptions to rerolls, and there's some um, you know, uh, tactics to rerolls, definitely. So we'll see you in the next How to Play Blood Bowl video. Still going on. See you next time.